Hey everyone, welcome back to the kitchen for another recipe video. I'm Derek from Simnet Nutrition and today I'm excited to share with you how to make your own just egg with just a few simple ingredients. I'll also give you some examples on how to use it and what it looks like when it cooks up. So I don't know about you, but I absolutely love breakfast foods. And before I went vegan, I just loved cooking up like a good fried egg on toast or having like a nice omelet in the morning. So you can imagine when I saw this on store shelves, I was pretty excited. And then after looking at some of the ingredients, I realized this is probably pretty simple to make. And there's probably some stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here that I don't need to be eating. And it's also pretty expensive. It's like over $8 for one of these bottles in the local grocery stores. So of course, I went at it and kind of tried to make my own version and tried a bunch of different methods and I think I figured out the best one that's like super simple and it's really delicious. So let's get started with it. So the main ingredient in just egg are split mung beans, also known as mung dal. So that is what we're going to be using for this. I'm in Canada and I actually found this at the Great Canadian Superstore. It's in the international foods aisle and it's dirt cheap. It was like just over $3 for this bag. But if you can't find it at your local grocery store, definitely check out like an Indian grocery store or some sort of Southeast Asian grocery store because those cultures tend to use this a lot. So the first thing you want to do is measure out one cup of the split mung beans and then rinse them really well. You got to rinse them a few times until the water is nice and clear. I like to use a whisk to kind of help agitate the mung beans and I find this helps to rinse them a little bit quicker. You want to get rid of all those bubbles as well. Next add about four cups of water and then let that soak for at least four hours but you can let it soak overnight if you need to. Once it's soaked then you want to discard as much of that water as you can and then we're going to add it to a blender. So this will work in any blender. You don't have to use a high power blender like this Vitamix but this is what I've got so this is what I'm using. Next, I'm just gonna add one and a third cups of water to the mung beans. You can play around with how thick you want it, but I've tried this a few different times and I find one and a third cups to be the perfect amount. Then a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of turmeric. This is just gonna add a little bit of yellow color to it, but if you guys watch the channel, you know turmeric's really good for you as well and one teaspoon of dehydrated onion flakes. So of course you could use like a half a teaspoon of onion powder instead, but this is what Just Egg uses. So I figured I might as well just kind of stick to the recipe because they probably have it figured out. Another ingredient that I'm gonna be adding, but I'm not gonna add it until the end is Kala Namak. And it's also called black salt. So this is an uh, eggy kind of sulfury tasting salt. And the reason why I'm not adding it now is because when I was testing this and I added it in the actual like recipe before I cooked it, it seems to cook out a lot of that flavor and you don't really notice it. So I'm gonna be sprinkling it on at the end and that's when it like really packs a punch and you really don't have to use all that much to get that really eggy taste. So yeah, you could add it now if you wanted to instead of like the regular salt, but I think you'll find that it definitely goes a lot further if you add it in the end. So let's blend this up. All right, there we go. We have made three cups of just egg for virtually pennies. So how are we gonna use this? Let me show you. The first thing I'm gonna make is an omelet. So right now I'm just cooking up some veggies, some zucchini, onions, mushrooms, and some bell pepper to go inside that omelet. So you might've noticed that I'm using a nonstick pan. I usually like to use a stainless steel pan in the kitchen, but when I was testing this recipe, it kept sticking and would totally like foobar the pan and I was getting so frustrated. So I actually went out and bought this nonstick pan like just to film this video with because I wanted it to look like really nice for the video. So if you are making it at home, just know that it could stick to your pan a little bit. You could probably use a little bit of oil or something like that to help, but this tends to stick. Once those are done cooking, I'm just gonna take them out of the pan, put them into a separate container for a second while I pour that mung bean mixture into the pan. I'm gonna let that cook for just a few minutes and then on half of it, I'm gonna add those veggies back in there. Throw a little vegan cheese in there, fold it over and then let it cook for a few minutes, flip sides and then there you go. You have one beautiful omelet. Like look at this thing, it looks so professional. So as you can see, it turned out amazing. It's not quite done yet though, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the black salt to it. Just sprinkle some of that on. And this stuff isn't overly salty. It's definitely more eggy than it is salty. And if you don't want it to taste that way, then you could totally just have it as is. And I'm just gonna spread that around a little bit. And then of course, just a little bit of black pepper. All right, so a little green onion on there and let me get into this and give it a taste. 
It's like my eighth omelet I've had this week. I've been making this a whole bunch, but yeah, it's good every single time. It's amazing. And it is very similar to Just Egg, a tiny bit different in flavor and consistency, but it is really good. Like I'm definitely gonna be making this over and over again. And it is just so cheap and so easy. So of course, if you wanted to, you could do just like a plain fried egg or a fried mung bean or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, you could also do like a scramble with it as well. That's really good. I've done a few of those. And something else you can actually use this for is French toast and I know it might sound kind of weird because there's like the onion and stuff in it but you don't really taste the onion like it just gives it some flavor if you wanted to you could obviously leave that out uh, but yeah let's make some French toast with this it works perfect as a wash so just add a little bit of it to a bowl I'm also gonna add a touch of maple syrup and some cinnamon and then just give that a bit of a mix coat both sides of the bread and then just fire it into a preheated pan And there it is, that is some good looking French toast, if you ask me. It browned up nicely, it's got a nice crust on it. So now I'm just gonna dress it up. Got some sliced banana, and I didn't have any fresh strawberries, but I do have some thawed frozen strawberries. Some chopped pecans, a little maple syrup, and a touch of cinnamon. And that is a pretty nice plate of French toast. Mm. wow. <laughs> Yeah, this is amazing. So you definitely can't taste that onion that's in it. And it is just like the perfect French toast. I don't know how else to describe it. It's really like light. It didn't like get soggy or anything like that. Nice crust on it, really neutral flavor. Like it doesn't taste too strong like anything. It doesn't taste like beans or anything like that, which is really cool. Man, yeah, it is really good. So you're probably gonna have some of this left over and all you need to do is just yeah, put it into a container and pop it into the fridge. It'll probably keep for like maybe three, four days at the max, but it doesn't have, obviously it doesn't have any preservatives or anything like that in it, which this definitely does. That's one of the ingredients that's in Just Egg. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it should keep for at least three days. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this recipe. And if you do make it, definitely let me know how it is or tag me on Instagram at Simnet Nutrition because you know I love seeing your creations inspired by my recipes. So thank you all for watching. Definitely hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe so that you can see more from me and I will see you soon with another video. Bye-bye. Here's some other videos of mine that I think you might like. And if you're looking for some delicious and healthy plant-based recipes, check out my new recipe ebook, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It contains over 60 plant-based recipes, lots of delicious sauces that I know you're gonna love. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support.